Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to give you some quick tips on what to do if your project's lagging. So whenever you're working with footage, normally it should play smoothly, but there's certain times where you might get lag, especially if you're working with larger footage, like 4K footage, or if you have lots of heavy effects on your clip, such as some heavy echo effects or different combinations of effects that I don't care how much RAM you have, they can start to get laggy if you have too many number of echoes or turn them up way too far. And you see what happens here is we get this red line, which means that things are not buffered, things are not render previewed. So you can see even my system is very, my system has a lot of RAM and even this just isn't really able to play back smoothly right off the bat. So. What do we do when this is happening? A few things that we can try, just a few quick methods to keep in your toolbox. If you're ever in the project or reference window, you can always turn down the playback resolution to a half or a quarter, whether you're in Premiere or After Effects. This will just turn down the quality a quarter so you don't necessarily see the actual full quality, but it can help play through things smoothly if you're just trying to see animations or general things. So that's one tip. The next tip would be to, you can render or preview. So if I ever press I to create an in point and then move over wherever I want and press O to create an out point and then go to sequence, render in to out, Premiere will render out this little sequence here. It'll do what it has to do to create a preview and you'll see the red bar turn green. So then I can smoothly play it back. So you can see I can see it, what I did with the echo effect happening there. Another tip is if you are working with heavy color grading or heavy effects, you can always just turn the previews off or mute them. Perhaps you don't need to always have them on until you're done. And sometimes you're just trying to see the cuts of your video and whatnot. Um, so, you know, if you ever want to go back to full quality or half, you can always do that in the program or reference window. Remember, these are two different windows. And we can play things back here while the effects are hidden, but they're still there. So we didn't lose them. And once we're done, we can always just go back and turn them back on. The other thing we can do is, this is especially useful for if you do have to work with 4K footage. And you can know if your footage is 4K. If you're confused, you can go to the info tab. And you can see here, this one is 4,000 by 2,000 pixels, as opposed to this one, which is 1920 by 1080. This is one of the biggest reasons that you will encounter lag is working with large resolution footage such as this. This will make effects lag more, just in general lag more. And you can look into proxy editing. So what proxy editing is, if you right click on any media in your project bin and go to proxy, you can create proxies and this will allow you to create kind of a temporary placeholder footage in a low resolution and if you press ok it'll insert it in to the media and in, in a proxy folder and you can edit with those proxies and then once you're done you can reconnect the full resolution media so i'll have to create a full separate video on that workflow if you're still confused but look into proxy editing if you are working with heavy 4k footage and it's just not working for you Lastly, if you ever open up the Premiere Preferences in general and you go to the memory sections, you can see how much RAM your system has and how much is reserved for Premiere. Honestly, I, I would just keep this at default, but I bring this up to say that ultimately it's not always going to be a software trick or little things you can do in the software. Ultimately, it is up to your hardware specifications on how much lag and, and buffer you're going to need to experience. I get a lot of questions asking me what's the best computer and I just can't answer those. Um, the software and chips is always changing uh, and the companies will always usually have a minimum recommended specs on their website which you can check and then compare with your budget and your shopping cart of whatever system you're trying to build or whatnot. So that is a quick video on just some tips and tricks on dealing and working with the lag in Premiere. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.